I'm going to show you a set of skills which will help you build up to cross rolls or crossovers. And I'm also going to give you a bit of a cheeky quick win along the way. Cheeky quick win! To be able to do a cross roll, you need to be able to balance on each foot for a length of time. So I would recommend building up to a count of five. So what I'm doing here is almost like the marching. But once you get really stable, you need to put your knee back so you can stand like this for a count of five. And this will help you do cross rolls. Now once you've got this nice and solid, we're gonna start doing outside edges. So when you lean on one foot, you're gonna lean on the little toe. And this is gonna really help with cross rolls. So practice this and you're almost there. It's time for our quick win. Quick win. So what I've been showing you, the balancing on one foot, the edges, it's really, really important technical stuff. But let's face it, it's not the most exciting. So to get you feeling like you're doing a crossover before we get to the really hard bit, I'm gonna do another option, the quick win. So a bit of roll, two feet parallel. And then you're gonna slide one foot to the front and across. And then you're gonna slide back again and put the other one across. Now, if you do this quickly, you're kind of doing a cross roll without lifting your feet. And it looks pretty cool if you've got some music on, you can get a nice little groove. We're back here again. For those of you who've been here before, you may recognize my lamppost friend. So this skill is best tried for the first time holding onto something. So we're practicing crossing over our feet. So the most important thing is a knee bend. So behind, and then it crosses over. And as it crosses, it bends. And the wheels roll backwards like that. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna bend and push my wheels backwards. So each time I cross, I'm bending and pushing my wheels backwards. And you know what the next bit is, don't you? We're gonna do it moving. <laughs> so this is where it all comes together. So the first thing we're gonna do is those lovely outside edges we were doing before. So let's do an outside, and then we're gonna do the cross, but straight away you're back onto an outside. And then we're gonna cross, cross, and outsides. Now you'll notice that when I lift my foot I do this. It's because my background is artistic skating, so that's drummed into us. But you don't have to do that, you can be a lot more casual with this. The most important thing is, as always, a knee bend. Bend, you must put it down on a bent knee, otherwise this is not going to happen. So keep low. That's it. Keep practicing. You'll do it. I know you will. Quick tip. So when you take your foot through, the closer you can keep it to the other foot, the more controlled you're going to be. So don't do a swing because that's going to really throw you off. So keep the foot nice and close and it'll give you a lot more control of your edges. That was Crossovers. I'm Katie, you're watching Skatey, and I'll see you next time. Bye. This is where we put it all together. There's something on me. Oh no, it's, it's my, <laughs> there's a loose thread on my wrist card. I was like, it's on me. It's not. I'm going to show you a set of... <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> oh, this is outtake central, isn't it? <laughs>